So I'm going to solve this first one for you. So a physics book's falling at 3 meters per second. Um, it has a mass of 10 kilograms. We're looking at how much momentum does it have. Um, so first off, we're going to draw a picture of it. Um, this, it, it's not as necessary for um, the momentum problems. We just calculated the momentum of one moving object. When we talk about collisions, this will be really, really important. It's moving at 3 meters per second. It's got a mass of 10 kilograms. So plug in your values. So P or momentum, we don't know yet. M, mass, we do know it has a mass of 10 kilograms. And V or velocity, we know it's falling 3 meters per second. 3 meters per second. Again, you should be doing this on your worksheet while I do it up here. Um, so plug in values. Our equation is P equals MV. So momentum, which we don't know yet, it's just going to be P. And then my mass is 10 kilograms. And the velocity is 3 meters per second. So solve for answer. Obviously, this is a pretty easy question. We have 10 kilograms times 3 meters per second. 10 times 3 gives me 30. And again, the units stay, so we're going to use 30 kilogram meters per second. And those two are multiplied together. So my final answer with units is P or momentum equals 30 kilogram times, so it's called kilogram meters per second or kilogram times meters over seconds.